All right, everybody, I'm super excited to talk about the Clifton 7 today. I ran the Clifton 6 last year and I had a great review of it, but I had a couple of things that I really wanted to update in the 7, and I think Hoka came through really clutch and made it a better shoe for me, and hopefully it has a better riding experience for everyone all around, because I think it was a huge thing, and we'll get into that in just a second. Before we go into the shoe, I want to talk a little bit about this section over here. So we have the Clifton 7 and the Clifton Edge. We'll do a separate video on what is the difference between the two shoes, which one's right for you. Leave all your questions about those shoes in the comments below. Also, we did an Instagram live yesterday. It's live on IGTV now. It'll be live on YouTube sometime next week with Hela Sabide. He is a fantastic runner. He's been running for over 1,100 days, 1,300 days, something like that. He has plans to run across America as soon as this pandemic is over. And he's been running in the Clifton Edge and we talk all things Hoka and he ran the Clifton Six as well. So he has a bunch of thoughts on that. Uh, you can find that, like I said, on IG Live as well as on our YouTube channel in the coming week. So, back to the Clifton 7 and let's talk about it. Why is this shoe so much better than the Clifton 6? So if you remember my review from last year, which you probably don't, but the Clifton 6 was just too narrow. Everything about it was fantastic. I loved it. The cushioning was great. It was responsive and it just really feels like you're walking on clouds. You owe yourself a favor if you're a runner. At least once in your life, get a pair of Hoka's, any Hoka's really, and your, your feet and your knees, everything will thank you later. But the Hoka Clifton 6 was a little bit narrow and that's the biggest improvement I see with the Clifton 7 is they, they just widened it up a little bit. I have no more arch pains like I did with the Clifton 6. The Clifton 6 was fantastic, just a little too narrow. So the Clifton 7 right off the bat, boom, a little bit wider and it's just gonna give it a better ride and give you a more stable feel because you have a little bit more stability on the width. I think they took some of that design inspiration from the Clifton Edge, but also it's just gonna not hug your foot is tight. So sticking here with the upper, um, my favorite part about it is probably the tongue. It is actually attached on both sides and it's done with a really breathable mesh so that essentially you don't have a lot of tongue migration. The tongue stays really true to the, the formation of when you lock it down, which I like. So the shoe doesn't run very hot. It has a dual layer mesh throughout the rest of the upper, which keeps it really breathable. And of course they have now this um, little wing tip on the on the heel, which kind of is just a cool design aesthetic, but it also helps with pulling it on. I know in the Clifton 6 it had the pull tab, which is great for pulling this on. I think this works just as good. I mean, you can slip it right on um, with the Clifton 7 especially. I haven't had a ton of issues with having to retie my shoes. Maybe I should lock down better, but I don't always retie my shoes every single time I go on a run. All right, so now with the magic of the Clifton 7, we have the amazing EVA midsole technology. There is just so much of this, but honestly, they do a great job of keeping the weight low. At a size nine, this comes in at 8.7 ounces. So under nine ounces, which is fantastic. I'm a size 12, so my shoe, I weighed it here on my little food scale, came in at 10.5 ounces. So for me, that's right on the money of kind of where I want my shoes. Um, it has a five millimeter drop as well. So that paired with the early stage meta rocker is going to be really great for um, forefoot striking as well as midfoot striking, kind of pushing you forward throughout your gait. And for those of you who are not super familiar with Hoka and the meta rocker, the early stage, late stage meta rocker is essentially the early stage meta rocker is placed kind of right behind the ball of your foot. And what they do is they just start bringing the, um, the midsole of the shoe up. And that essentially is gonna help with you striking. You're naturally gonna kind of, your gait is gonna go forward to your toe. So the early stage meta rocker is right here before the metatarsal area, and you're just gonna rock right through your gait. And it's just gonna help you have a more natural gait and a more just efficient running style. So that paired with the five millimeter drop is really great. Um, like I said, the EVA cushioning, fantastic. It's really soft. Um, and it just, your feet are gonna thank you. Like I said earlier, if you've never run in Hoka, maybe the Clifton 7 is the one you give a shot, but all of their shoes have a fantastic midsole and it is really abundant, um, but it's really great. It feels fantastic. You won't feel like it has a really high stack height and you're gonna feel unsteady, but you're really gonna feel just kind of secure. And I think with the, uh, the withening of the shoe versus the last year's version, it really helps with that. And one way that they help, help keep the weight down is that obviously they have rubber in all the right places. That's where you're having a lot of ground contact. Um, and that's just gonna help with the longevity of the shoe as well as keeping the weight down. But I will say that you see here in the middle, there's no rubber. Um, I've had Hoka shoes in the past where there has not been as much rubber. I don't see that as being a problem. The EVA is really thick and it's really responsive in terms of like, it's not going to 
lose its responsiveness over time. Not essentially that it's the most responsive foam, but it won't lose its responsiveness over time. So with ha without having that rubber here, I don't think that impacts the, um, the performance of the shoe at all. So really they just have it in the high impact zones where you're gonna need it the most, but this shoe is going to last you a long time. The Hoka shoes are always on that, that farther end of the mileage. So I'd say 300, 400 plus miles, these shoes are gonna be fantastic. Obviously rotate your shoes. These shoes will last you a really long time. Um, and that's why I said this can be one of the best shoes of 2020 because I think that Hoka has done a lot to just improve the overall design of the shoe. To me, it's a much more aesthetically pleasing shoe. The design is really great to put on the shoe. It doesn't run hot. And for me, most importantly, they, they widened it up just a little bit where I'm not having those kind of like slight arch pains on my longer runs because it was too narrow in the past. So the Clifton 7 and then spoiler, the Clifton Edge are both a little bit, um, not on the wider side, but they're not as narrow as they were before. So they feel fantastic. I think it's gonna appeal to more runners and just overall be a better shoe. That paired with the longevity that this type of foam gives you. This is just your amazing daily trainer, long run, marathon shoe. Like this is the shoe that does it all. Um, recovery shoe even yeah try this out the bondi 7 is coming soon i'll have a review on that eventually i haven't got it yet but it, when it does that's more of your recovery shoe but this is your workhorse of a shoe um, this is the shoe that is going to take you everywhere you need to go so that's why this i'm already putting it in the category of maybe one of the best shoes of 2020. all right so that was the hoka one one clifton 7. check it out as always if you're a roadrunner sports vip you can go online and get these shoes with free shipping and you get to try this out for 90 days. So what that means is you wear them, love them, don't love them, whatever it is, you have 90 days to try them out and if they don't work out for you, send them back to us. We'll find you a better shoe that fits your needs. All right guys, I'm Brandon. This is the Hoka One One Clifton 7 and I'll see you guys on the road. Peace.